in three, two, one. All right, we are with my main man, John Lee Dumas, is in the house. Say what's up to my audience, Mr. John Lee Dumas. Nathan, I am excited to be here, my friends. I am fired up to ignite your audience. Outstanding, and we're happy to have you as social entrepreneurs, thought leaders, and people that are wanting to make a difference in our community. I just want to say thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, for the people that may not have heard of you, sir, and this is the first time of the introduction, can you tell them a little bit more about you, what you do in your organization? I'll keep this concise. You know, I'm just a country boy from Maine that went to college on an army scholarship, graduated, served our country for eight years as an officer, went to law school, quit, corporate finance, quit, commercial real estate, quit. Um, I was, you know, not really successful for the first 32 years of my life of most things that I did. But at 32, I had an aha moment to launch a daily podcast interviewing today's most successful and inspiring entrepreneurs to learn from them. So I could finally figure out like why I wasn't being successful and at the same time educate my listeners um, while I was learning. They could learn right alongside with me during my podcast. You know, that was four years ago. Um, since then, we've now launched over 1,500 episodes to date. We have over 40 million listens of my podcast, Entrepreneur on Fire. Um, we've won Best of iTunes and we're a multi million dollar a year net profit business. So really exciting stuff. And uh, it's been a blast. Outstanding. So for those that may not know, I give all my podcasting skills to Mr. JLD. He is the man. I only was able to keep up with with him to the 1100 podcast. I haven't heard the other ones, but I consider him the godfather of podcasting. That's Uncle, might be Uncle JLD to some of y'all. <laughs> so, uh, John, I know that you're also in the nonprofit arena. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, I'm really inspired by education. Like, I really strongly believe that if we can educate others, like I was gifted to be educated through high school, through college, and then, you know, that led me on a journey of self-education, but I never would have got to that point of being able to self-educate myself had I not had the gift of education from my earlier years. So I feel like if we can give the gift of education to those less fortunate in developing countries that might not have access to education in a normal space just because it's a poor country or, you know, any any number of, of situations, um, it made me fall in love with this uh, nonprofit called Pencils of Promise Um past guest, Adam Bronze, the founder of Pencils of Promise. And it's just super inspiring what they do. Um, you know, they've just figured out how they can, you know, for the most value, the most bang for the buck, build schools and fund education in developing countries. So, you know, when I launched the Freedom Journal last year, um, every time we hit a funding goal, you know, I wrote a check for $25,000 to Pencils of Promise. And so far wow. to date... Um, we've built three schools in developing countries. I've written over $75,000 in checks to Pencils of Promise, not just even on behalf of me, but it's on behalf of the Freedom Journal supporters, you know, people who wanted the, the gorgeous hardcover, you know, journal, the guide, the step-by-step -step of accomplishing your number one goal in 100 days. That's what the Freedom Journal is. And when you give yourself the gift of the Freedom Journal, which is you accomplishing your number one goal in 100 days, you're also giving the gift of education to those less fortunate as a portion of that is going right to Pencils of Promise. So it's a really cool nonprofit, and I'm honored to be a part of it. That's outstanding, man. That's really – that's what's up because a lot of people don't understand – First, that you started your business, and then after you had your uh, good firm hold of your business, then you took it to the next level, and that's what's up. And as a nonprofit founder and executive director, I'm sure if I was to see those seventy-five thousand dollars come in, those schools getting built, I'm like, oh my gosh, my dream is finally being realized. And it's not all, just for me; it's me that people understand the vision and want me to help it grow too. So that's awesome. Cool. So what is a specific resource or tool that you use all the time to be the godfather of podcasting? Well, you know, since this is actually video, we can do something pretty cool here. And I can do a little screen share, you know, and I could actually even just show you right now, like what my calendar looks like oh, um, for today. I mean, 
this is why I'm able to get so much stuff done. I mean, I have like, what is this? Like almost 20 interviews lined up today back to back. Wow. And that's just me putting in the work, doing the back to back interviews, batching, being incredibly productive on a day to day basis. So I only do these interviews one day a month and today's that day. And so I batch, I lock everything together. And what is that tool that I use to do that? It's called schedule once it's a scheduling tool. Um, that it just allows you to be very specific with the different blocks you use for your scheduler, and it really helps me. There's some other great ones out there like Acuity Scheduling. Um, a free one is called Calendly, but you really need to have some kind of scheduler in your life, in my opinion, if you want to be productive. That's what's up, man, because I use Calendly myself, um, and I won't get into the details of why are you this, uh, let's just say, um, precise on the scheduler because that that's for your podcast. So for the folks that don't know his podcast, can you just let the folks know where to find you on your podcasting channels? Yeah, sure. If you just search any of the podcasting, either John Lee Dumas, EO Fire, or Entrepreneur on Fire, you will find my show, um, EO Fire, here where I interview successful entrepreneurs seven days a week. And you know our overall main headquarters is eofire.com. Um, that's where we have the free courses like on podcasting, webinars, goals, funnels, free courses galore there. Um, and we just have a lot of fun. Awesome. All right. So then let me just get your quick definition of what a social entrepreneur is. So my definition of a social entrepreneur is somebody who's actually out there engaging with other entrepreneurs. You know, you yes. have the introvert entrepreneurs and they're fine. They're amazing. They're great. They're doing cool things. You know, they're coming out with apps and they're coming out with SaaS products and they're making the world better. Mm. Like, by the way, the person who created schedule once and Callan Lee probably is that person. Awesome. We need those people. Right. But to me, a social, um, what was the word used again? Social entrepreneur, entrepreneur, social entrepreneur, somebody who's out there, who's mixing it up, who's engaging with people, who's having these type of conversations to pull out nuggets, um, you know, who's going to conferences to interact with people face to face to build relationships. That's a social entrepreneur. And you kind of got into my last question. But for again, you folks, if you don't know where to find John Lee Dumas, where, where can they find you at just one more time? EOfire.com. Outstanding. All right, y'all. Y'all got to go to it. I'm for real. Y'all going to get fed. I'm telling you. That's what's up. So what, what are some, eat. <laughs> what's, what's some of your best places to network? So I love networking. To me, it's huge. I kind of just mentioned conferences. And getting out of this where you are right now, Nathan, and where I am, which, by the way, is awesome that we can do this, that I can be in my studio here in Puerto Rico. Where are you coming at us from? Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver, Washington, a beautiful part of the world, by the way. I used to be stationed in Fort Lewis, Washington, back oh, in my army days. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so, you know, I love that neck of the woods. Uh, that part of the country is amazing. And then we can do this. This is so cool. Um, but you got to get out and, and have meetups. Like, what's the nearest city? Like, how 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 close are you to Seattle? Um, I'm, I'm about two and a half, three hours of traffic. and uh, that's, that's long. What's it the is. biggest city close to you? Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. So that's a great example because so you're down by the border. Um, yep. And Portland, Oregon, you know, has great meetups for entrepreneurs. I know that's actually the headquarters of Fizzle, uh, which is a great online uh, community for entrepreneurs. They do meetups. You got to get out and find your local meetups in the different cities that you're near. That's one thing that I miss being down here in Puerto Rico. They, they just don't exist down here to the same level. Because I'm like an hour from San Juan, which is they, they have a few things up there. But, you know, that's that's a little ways. So hopefully you have something that's, you know, within driving distance, reasonable distance. You can kind of get out, meet people in person because it's shaking someone's hand, looking them in the eye, making that connection. You're going to you're going to form a bond that's going to be very meaningful. And so I really encourage people to do that. You know, go to meetup.org, um, go to like local Facebook groups, you know, like search like right. Portland, Oregon, you know, internet marketing or entrepreneurship, whatever it might be, and see what comes up and join those groups and get involved. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, so, and, and I know you already kind of went into the significance of it, but for as a social entrepreneur, when you're talking to folks, uh, you know, we like to 
um, talk a lot about the how instead of the what, and it starts with the relationship. And so this brings me to a fun fact about you because um, when you're selling, what I've learned in my days of being a nonprofit fund founder, an entrepreneur, doing so many different things, you have to sell yourself. Uh, and, and when you're selling the product, you're also really selling yourself. So you got to have some personality in there. So uh, I we do fun facts at Friday or fun facts on our YouTube channel. So John, you got to tell the audience what's a fun fact about you. And this might be your icebreaker for networking. Yeah, so a fun fact about me, and this is actually even going to be cooler since you do this on YouTube, um, because you can link to it, because the video is waiting in YouTube. All you need to do is just uh, search John Lee Dumas, Price is Right. In oh. 2011, I was on The Price is Right. What? And spoiler alert, I win a car. <laughs> <laughs> that is dope. That's what's oh, that's cool, man. It's a true story. It's all out there on YouTube. Oh snap! That's awesome. You got I, you got me by surprise with that. <laughs> all right. So uh, two more questions for you. How do you ensure you reach your goals? Goals are critical. I ensure that I reach my goals because I follow a step by step guide. Now I will say I created this guy, so I better follow it. You know, I am a disciple of what I've created, but this right here is the goal setting Bible, my friends. It is the freedom journal. Accomplish your number one goal in 100 days. So no matter where you are in this world, this is within your grasp over at the freedomjournal.com. Go check it out. Um, we have a digital version for people. If you know you're international, you don't want to pay the outrageous shipping costs. You can just pick up the digital version with no shipping costs whatsoever and start doing it immediately. Because for me, I struggled with goals for a long time in my life. So I became a master researcher of goals and it became one of my biggest strengths. Mm -hmm. I turned it into a step-by-step -step guide. So now I use the Freedom Journal to set a smart goal, specific, measurable, attainable, yes. relevant, time bound. And then I follow the guide within the Freedom Journal for 100 days. And every single day you have daily tasks, you have nightly recaps. Every 10 days you're doing a 10 day sprint. We are accomplishing a micro goal that's getting you 10% closer to your actual overall goal. Every 25 days you're doing what's called a quarterly review where you're looking back over those 25 days, seeing your weaknesses and where you struggle to, to make some adjustments and pivots and then looking at what you actually succeeded in, what are your strengths and what are you doing with those? Um, you're amplifying those strengths and guess what? By day Love 100, it. you will have accomplished your number one goal in those 100 days. Mm. Mm. For those that didn't get that, you might have to hit the rewind button or <laughs> on iTunes, hit that, that quick uh, replay a couple of times to get all that because that was deep. And, uh, you know, just so that the folks know that you're still human, because with all this uber success, what is one of your, or what is the worst habit you have? Wow, I am absolutely human. Again, if I did a book recently, it's actually called The Mastery Journal, because you know I stay on theme. This is my three greatest strengths. How to master productivity, discipline, and focus in 100 days. And it's, it's that thick. Wow. If it was a book of my weaknesses, it would be about that thick <laughs> because my weaknesses are countless, by the way, as are everybody's. But I, I choose to focus on my strengths, but I definitely have weaknesses. Um, one of my biggest weaknesses is attention to detail. I make a lot of silly and stupid mistakes because I am not attentive to detail. I try to push, push, push. Um, you know, I try to um, publish, publish, publish. And I make mistakes because of that. So thankfully, my partner in crime, Kate, is strong where I am weak. Mm. So because I'm bad at attention to detail and she's great at it, she does all the detail work. <laughs> mm. Well, we're about to get on out of here. John, I want to th say thank you uh, again. Tell the folks where you're at just in case if they don't know. EOFire.com is where all the magic happens. And as I quickly mentioned about the Mastery Journal, we're doing a killer Kickstarter campaign from January 23rd to uh, February 24th for 33 days. You can learn more at themasteryjournal.com. But that's only if you want to master productivity, discipline, and focus in 100 days. So you heard the man, y'all. This is the godfather 
of podcasting, Mr. John Lee Dumas out of EO Fire. Thanks a lot, John, for joining us today. Nathan, I appreciate you, brother. Peace. Peace.